All right, hello athletes, family, friends, and coaches. We wanna welcome you to the Northeast Regional Championship hosted by the World Ninja League. Um, today, we are gonna go over our two different courses, which would be our flow course and our challenge course. This video specifically is for our flow course um, for our mature kids, males and females. With that being said, um, the format for the flow course is going to be once the athlete um, has failed an obstacle, that would be where they get scored. And then the winner of the flow course is going to be the athlete that goes the furthest, the fastest. Um, to go a little bit more now into how we're going to go over the course, um, we're going to start to go through our walkthrough here. We're going to um, have the obstacle be introduced, and then we're going to state whether there is hands, um, if it's a hands, feet, or both obstacle. And um, then we'll have our wonderful tester here be able to show everything that's going on uh, for that obstacle. But before we get to that, we just want to remind everybody that everything um, that is not mentioned in this video would be assumed out of play, and that anything um, that we do talk about in the, ops, in the, um, the course is going to be uh, able to be utilized. Um, also, we want to remind you guys that when you get to the buzzer and you're going to come and hit this to finish off, you want to make sure you hit it nice and firm. This is a recommendation from both the World Ninja League and Ninja Works to make sure that when you get there, you can uh, have your buzzer go off, which will show all of our cool lights, uh, smoke, and sound effects that Ninja Works um, um, has given to us for the competition. Um, other than that, we want to uh, thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions uh, before your run, please make sure you reach out to a WNL staff. Uh, we can help answer any questions you may have. We want to wish you the best of luck, and let's get over to our first obstacle. All right, so uh, we're going to have our ascending steps here. The first obstacle will begin on the red platform here, and you're going to be able to utilize the red tops all the way up and through. That's going to then finish and land on this black platform here, right? So this is going to be a hands and feet obstacle. We want to make sure everyone gets through it and can get up onto here. I'm going to go and dem uh, talk about the second obstacle so that the tester can show the first two obstacles uh, to kind of show how the flow goes. So for our second obstacle, this is again going to be your uh, start platform. So this is a start stop. If you were to overshoot it after the first obstacle, you would complete the first obstacle, but then fail the second. So make sure you do stay on this platform. Um, so for obstacle two is gonna be the ring slider. You'll be able to utilize this black mat, the red ring, slide on down, and then land on this red platform here. This is also a start stop platform, so please don't overshoot it as it will be the start for your third obstacle. Now we're gonna get a demonstration for the first two obstacles. All right. And clear, well done. All right, so moving on to our third obstacle tornado pole. This red platform here is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this pole here to then come on around and land on this blue landing platform. We're also going to have this red box be in play for a landing platform. So both the red box and the blue are going to be in play to be the landing platform. This is going to be a hands and feet obstacle. Um, and please make sure that you stay on the landing platform as it is the start platform for your next obstacle. Demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, so like I said, this is gonna be the start platform for your next obstacle, the warp wall run. Um, blue platform here will be start. You will be able to utilize this purple mat over onto the black warp wall plus the white if you need it. These two steps, this rope, and you're gonna land on this red platform over here. This is not the start platform for your next obstacle. It's just a finished platform. So just remember, you have to cross this front plane here and then you can, uh, Make your way off of the platform any way you want, but please make sure you do pass that front plane so you can get the clear for this obstacle. All right, demonstration, please. Perfect and clear. Okay, moving on to our Lachey Lane. The red box that our tester is now moving up to onto right here is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize hands only on these bars all the way through and your landing platform is going to be this green platform. This is also the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it as it would be failure for uh, that next obstacle. A demonstration, please.
and clear. Well done. All right, now moving on to our sideways. This green platform here is going to be your start platform. Uh, you will then be able to utilize the sideways on both the outside and the inside of both of these first two. And then the third bar here is going to be in play with you finishing and landing on this red platform over here to complete the obstacle. And demonstration. And clear, well done. All right, moving on over to our boot scoot. This red platform here is going to be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize this black ring to make your way and land on this red platform here. That red landing platform is also going to be the start platform for your next obstacle, so please do not overshoot it. Um, and demonstration. Clear, well done. All right, now moving on to our angled steps. This red platform here is gonna be your start platform. You'll be able to use hands and feet on these four angled steps and your landing platform is going to be this blue mat and this red platform. Uh, just in case someone's got some crazy hops and jumps way past the blue and gets to the red, both of these are gonna be in play as your landing platform. Uh, demonstration, please. And clear, well done. All right, moving on to our second to last obstacle is going to be our TikTok. You will be able to utilize both this red platform and this red box that's placed here um, as your start platforms. This red ring is going to be in play if you need it. And then also the TikTok, the hexagon here, any holds, any part of it, all in play. And this black ring and your finished platform will be this green box over here. So all of those things are in play. This is a hands and feet obstacle and we'll get a demonstration. And clear. This green box is also the start platform for your next obstacle, so please remember to not overshoot it. All right, going on to our final obstacle uh, is gonna be our cane slider. So here again, this green platform here is gonna be your start platform. You'll be able to utilize these two canes up here to slide across this bar, land on this red platform right here as your finished platform. After you have landed on the finished platform, you'll make your way over to the buzzer. Here you'll hit it nice and firm. All of the cool lights, the smoke, the sounds will all go off, provided by NinjaWorks, and we'll know that you have completed the course. All right, we'll get a demonstration. And clear. That is a full clear, so well done. We wanna thank you all for watching this video. Again, if you have any questions, please let us know, and we're super excited to see everyone this weekend. Best of luck.